Hello, and welcome to In His Image broadcast, hosted by Evangelist Stacy Rhodes. Glory, give him glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. For him not I declare that the whole earth shall be filled with my glory. I've spoken and said that the whole creation is groaning, waiting for the adoption of sons. Knowing this hour that even as I pierce the side of... Hello. And welcome to the In His Image broadcast on today. As always, I wanted to say happy Friday. I want to let you know that God is great. He's simply amazing. He's worthy of all our praises all the time. I hope he did something great for you over this last past week. I hope he did something miraculous just to show you that he's God and God alone. On today, I just want to send a few shouts out um, to my own pastor, Pastor Sam Moore, Lady LaShawn Moore, the Conqueror's Church family as well. Also, New Covenant Peace World Impact Ministries. I want to send a shout out to them as well. Apostle Kevin Binion as well. Uh, Faithful Priest Ministries as well, Saved by Grace Ministries as well. I want to send a shout out to Kingdom Community Outreach as well. I want to send a shout out also to, of course, all my people up and down Grossbeck Highway. I won't announce them one by one today because I want this young lady right here to give her a testimony. Um, yes. All my people. Um, all the doctors that I deal with, Dr. Stanley, Jay Lacani, Dr. V. Robinson, Dr. Edward Dombrowski, I want to send a shout out to them. Hair Creation Salon, I want to send a shout out to them to, as well. And like I said, if I forget anybody, blame it to my head, never to my heart. Also, I want to send a uh, shout out to Audrey Johnson. I want to send a shout out to uh, Mother Emma Hampton as well. Um, but like I said, if I forgot you, know that I love you. I announce you guys all the time as much as I can just to show you my love. And I want to send a shout out to the iPod drop off of Grossback Highway as well because I told them that I would. Um, so we're going to take a few minutes and just go into prayer and we're going to get right into the broadcast because this young lady here has a lot to say and I want to allow her the time to do it. Yes. Father, we thank you. We thank you that this is the day that you have made. Father, we'll rejoice and be glad in it. Father, we thank you that you are Alpha and Omega, Father. <laughs> you are the beginning and the end, Lord God. And Father, we worship you on today. Father, not so much for what you do, because, of, but because of who you are, Lord God. You are a great Father and greatly to be praised, Lord God. So, Father, we just ask you, Lord God, to settle our minds, settle our thoughts, Lord yes. God, that our focus and attention can be on you, Lord God. You yes. said that those that keep their mind on you, Father will be kept in perfect peace. So, Father, on today, we want to give you glory, Father. We send forth the word of healing on today, Lord God. We send forth the word of comfort, deliverance, and salvation on today, Lord God. But, Father, to you be glorified, Lord God. Yes. In the end, Lord God, all the glory belongs to you. And, Father, we just give you honor on today. We give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. We say thank you, Father, and amen. 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 And today I have Alexis Williams with me. And, like I said, she's yes. just coming to encourage and to give her testimony because, like I said, God wants to do something simple. He just wants to uh, be able to give you encouragement. Even in your everyday walk, and your everyday life, he want to let you know that he is still God. And she has yes, such Lord. a blessed testimony yes, about Lord. that situation. So we're going to get right on into the inter interview. And just, you know, if you have anything you want to say about yes. yourself to the people, go right ahead. Um, praise the Lord, saints. Amen. Um, I'm glad to be here. My name is Alexia Williams. I am an amputee. I have uh, my right leg cut off. So is anyone out there that's in wheelchairs, this is my testimony to you. For anyone that's feeling sad or anything, I have a testimony from God that yes. you wouldn't believe. If anyone was to look at me, they wouldn't know the conditions that I have been through. I have had 10 leg surgeries, 4 heart attacks, Crohn's disease, um, kidney disease but God is good and God is able and I want to let you know even in your circumstances yes. that you don't have to stay there there are there is someone that love you and his name is Jesus yes. Jesus loved all of us if he didn't he wouldn't have died for our sins and come back so we serve a mighty living God yes he, our God is not dead and I just whoever wants to be encouraged I'm here to give you an encouragement today and just have a good time in the Lord but I hope that it's not keeping people sister Stacy yes. bound up yes you know in their households yes. or even in their heart or what they feel in their minds it's like in their minds or anywhere because in my walk, before I came to Christ, mm -hmm. I went through. You know, I was blessed to be in a family with advantages and pastors and ministers. 
and they prayed my way through, but I yes. didn't understand at that time right. what they prayers was for. But now I do. Like I said, I lost my leg back in 2006. First thing to go, though, was my toes. Okay. I had two amputee toes on my left foot. Um, by the way, I was hurt on a job. Okay. I was a CNA. Amen. And one of my patients fell on me. And after he fell by me having diabetes, and I didn't know I had um, poor blood circulation, it was like one reaction to another. another. Yeah. So I lost my toes. They went gangrene on my left foot. Matter of fact, my left leg had died. Wow. They told my mother, there's nothing else you could do. We're not going to open it up because you can't have a bypass to end up with 150 stitches. Wow. And then we had to come back and remove it. Yes. So they left the leg alone. Okay. But glory be to God, my aunties, myself, we yes. anointed this leg. I have pulse in it now. I have circulation in hey, it man, now. Amen. Praise God. So, but they just told my mother, keep watch on it. So that's what we be, do we be doing. Um... Then they come to find out my right leg was worse off than my left. Wow. I had all the infection behind my knee when they amputated. They did a below the knee amputation at first. It wasn't successful. Um, right after surgery, I still was in pain. Yes. And I took the bandage off. The pressure bandage, I took the bandage off, and I'm like, this is not right. Lord, this is not right. I'm still hurting. I'm still crying. What is going mm -hmm. on? Yes. And after I, um, I removed the bandage, they called the doctors in there, and they said, okay, it's fine. Ship me off to the nursing home. Wow. So once I got in the nursing home, I was still in pain. Crying, I was just crying, crying. I started crying out to God. The only thing I knew was seeing church home. So I started singing church songs from what we were taught as kids. Yes. And I just really started talking to God because this pain was so incredible. I never wished it on no one. Yes. I say, Lord, couldn't nobody go through this. But the God reminded me, I went through it. <laughs> I went through more than you do. Yes. So I'm here for you. Yes. I'm here. Amen. And at that time, I didn't understand. I was just on the thing. I, my mind was concentrating on this pain. That pain. And through the pain, God was talking to me. Yes. And I had uh, a blind lady to raise them and say, don't be bitter. God said for you not to be bitter. And I'm looking at I'm like, what does she mean being bitter? Right. But God had to show me, you're going to get angry mm -hmm. because you're missing the limb. Yes. And you got two younger kids, and you can't be that way. So God started ministering to me then. I shut my family out. That, that was so amazing. I, I mean, wow. he just blew me. I wouldn't answer the phone. Uh, they come. I wouldn't see them. Because God was dealing with me right then. Wow. And that's when I got my personal relationship with the Lord. Yeah, because I know, like, growing up with uh, pastors and ministers in your family, it's hard. They, You know, you're forced to go to church. Yes, but I always yes. ask people, what decide, when did you decide that you knew God for yourself? Well, you I decided to? I knew God for myself. I knew him when I was younger. Because a lot of stuff that I went through, God was showing me, but I didn't know it was God. Yes. I didn't know the anointing that was on my life at the time. I could see things, and I would be scared about it, but I never went to my parent and my mom and said, Mom, what is this? God giving me visions. So my relationship came with him when I was in that nursing house, mm -hmm. and he really showed me who he was. Amen. And I said, I thank him today. I yes. really thank him because yes. all I've been through, even being hooked on drugs, God is good. I didn't have to go through no 12-step program. I turned it over to the Lord. And it amazed a lot of people, especially with the court system, because my kids was hooked. And when I went back to court, it shocked them. Like, you didn't go to a 12-step program? I said, no. Wow. God did it for me. Amen. And when it's, you're... I would say when you're truthful with him, mm -hmm. confess yeah. with all Come your on. heart. That's it. He will do these things for you. Yes, he, he will. He burnt that thing out of me. I've been clean now for 10 years. Amen. Praise God. 10 years. And I don't look like where I come from, my situations. Um, recently, I just moved back to Detroit, Michigan. And I, was, I went to the hospital October the 5th. My sugar had dropped. 
my Crohn's was acting up. I didn't know what was going on. I just knew I'm sitting here. I'm doing all this sweating. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling my daughter, look at me. I look like I've been in the shower. I'm getting, you know, disoriented. So she called the ambulance. They took me in. And when I went to the hospital, they said, do you know all that's on this paper? You look good. Wow. Because what's is. on this paper used to be an 80 year old woman. Wow. So I thank God for that. I yes, really he's do. faithful and he's so just. Yes, us. he is. He really and is. I walk with Christ, should always be heart opening. Yes. Confess truthfully how we feel. What's going on in your life? You know, as we were talking about even in the car, I mean, with all that going on in your life. I know it had to be a time when you said, Lord, you, where, what, what? There was what, a time when I what? said, Lord, where are you? I felt like during my walk, my journey, I didn't know that he was preparing me. I felt like, okay, where are you at? I'm going through all of this stuff. I know I heard about you. I know I go to attend my, my, my grandfather's church, but I don't know you from myself. And like I shared upon you, one day I was just, at home, and I was crying, Lord, I help all these people. Don't nobody help me. This and he said, I am your provider. Yes. I help you in order for you to help my people. And right there, to say, I had stopped complaining. Yes. I said, Thank you, Lord. For Won't just he do it? Ministering that. Won't he do it? Yes, yes he, he will. will. He would he do will. it. Oh, I just, I can't thank him enough. I don't have enough tongues to thank God. Yes. Just for waking me up in the morning. Yes. Just for me living, being there. Because there was a time that I told the Lord, just let me die. Just let me die. And he said, no, I seen something else for your life. Wow. And I'm going to help you prepare for that. And I just thank him for it. Yes. You know, I mean, I cry sometimes because of the goodness of God. Yes. Oh, where I could have been. Yes. I could have died in my sins and went to hell and I thank God that I didn't yes. at that point in time and I thank God for my mother Pastor Audrey Johnson that old praying woman of God yes yeah, she for is my aunties who yes, pray they are. evangelist <laughs> Eunice Pugh Amen. Uh, evangelist uh, Demita Turner come on now I love those women because they really was on my side praying me I through know. and I love you, Sister Stacy, because you was right there too. Yeah. My mom, when something went wrong, my mom picked up the phone and said, Stacy, pray yeah. for my daughter. And I know I heard y'all prayers. And I thank God for it. I know sometimes we want to cry because it's just the joy of the Lord. Come on. It's just the joy of the Lord. And like I said, if you're in a wheelchair, don't feel like you confined to a house or anything. I have two children. I get up and cook. I clean. Yeah. Uh, I, even if I got to put that wheelchair down them stairs myself, I'm going to go. Amen. Because I still have a work for the Lord to do. I'm not Emily. I might not have a limb, right. but I'm still a whole woman in Christ. Amen. And I love God for that. Yes, he's just mm -hmm. simply amazing when it comes down to stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and that's what we want the viewers and people to know that, you know, have disabilities that, it's only yes, our, it's Lord. our mentality and our mental side that stops us yes. more so than the ability to do something. You know, I was talking to somebody the other day when we had a car completed, and he still took a pencil and went to school for art. Yes. He couldn't do nothing but yes. use his mouth. But he would mm -hmm. continue to get up in the morning, have to mm -hmm. go to school, you know what I'm saying, have to be fed, but it didn't stop his mentality yes. that he had something. And before yes. he left here, he left cars that he, mm -hmm. he made and produced. And it was just simply amazing just to see the drive that he has because so many times you can't do it without God. No, you know, you we want to give up and lose hope. And every day you got to know it's somebody here, out here with a bigger problem. Yeah, than it's you. a way bigger <laughs> problem than I got. You know? And I look at those people like they said, like you said, uses his mouth to go to art. Okay, guy, you probably got no arms. I just nope. missing one leg. So what is I'm crying about? Yep. I ain't got nothing to cry about. I got stuff to thank Jesus about Amen. that I'm still here. Yes. And I remember back reading in the word, if he says some offend the body back in the day, they'd cut it off. Mm -hmm. And at that time, it was my leg offended my body. <laughs> so God, please cut it off Wait, so I can still live for Christ. Yes. 
You know, because Christ teaches us in many ways, and he taught me a lot yes. just doing this walk. I sit back, and he said, for those who are my children will hear my voice. And I sit back sometimes even, and I say, God, why me? And he said, why not you for you to be a, a that's testimony? That's, that's what he said, too. Like, why not you? Why you not you? you? Sitting there like, yes. Oh, why I got to go through all this yes. stuff? Yes. And he said, you went through for my purpose, for my Come glory. On. This is why you went through them things. I was preparing you then. Like I was sharing with Sister Stacy when we were in the car talking. From a little girl, I had visions, and I didn't understand what they were. God was showing me things then. Yes. But I didn't understand. You know, I'd be scared. I'd run. Boy, where I had that dream? Mm hmm. Boy, I just seen something. What is that? Yes. But at that time, he said, I was preparing you. You got a gift on your life. And I was telling my mother, um, I talked to her a couple uh, the other day, and I was like, "My, I didn't understand then. I was all the pastors and Baptist leaders that we were around. They would pray for me and prophesy over me and say, God saying you're special to him. And I kept going, why well, I'm special? I'm out here living like I'm living. Yeah. I ain't doing so. Why he keep talking about I'm special to him? But now I see some Yes. Who will survive four heart attacks? Ten leg surgery. I mean, at the time when I had Crohn's, I went from April, from January to April, nonstop. So I just knew the Lord was taking me then. <laughs> I, you know, you like, I, I hey, just I, knew. I, I'm it's just all over with. I accept it. Yes, I accept it. I'm gone. But that wasn't it. That's it. It wasn't it. He said, I ain't done with you. That's it. I'm just taking you through right now. Yeah. But I'm not done with you. You still have a work for me to do. Yeah, say man. And, and I thank God for that. And my purpose is right now is to out help people. Yes. Put in my situation. That's living in my situation. Yes. There's gonna be times that you wanna walk. But thank God that you got that one leg. You might not have no legs, but you still could get up in the morning. Amen. You still could take your mouth and say, Thank you, Jesus, I'm here. Amen. What you want me to do in this day? Yes. It's someone out there that needs you. That's Your it. testimony. That's it. Your and that's story. what we are living for. That's it. For someone else. Not for ourselves. Not for ourselves. We're living it. for somebody else. That's it. And I thank God for that. Because if I could help just one person yes. to come to the kingdom of God, I will rejoice. Amen. Not only the heavens, I will be glad. Yes, and that's it. And that's what that's it. And you know, even on that note, that's the great moment right here to yes. offer salvation to someone because yes. you know, without him, you can't even have his promises. No. So, you know, that is the open opportunity to see, you know, let someone confess they, they their love for Christ on today because like I said, I know we know that it was the best decision that we ever made. Yes, you know it what I'm was. Saying? Yes, it so was. on today, what would you tell that person that's debating on giving their life to Christ? What would you say to them that they don't know if they for sure they don't want you know I would they know tell of that them, person, but open up your heart. Give Jesus a try. He's worth it. Yes he is. He's worth it. And he will fill you with that love and I love the way our pastor talked about fulfillment. Yes. And that's what we missing, that fulfillment from Christ. Yes. So open up your heart. Give Jesus a chance to come into your life. Yes. Confess to him what's going on with you. And watch it change. You don't have to stay there in that situation. No. You can give your heart over to God. Yes. He love you more. Yes. He'll be your best friend. Yeah, he will. He'll be a mama when you need him. <laughs> yeah, he will. He'll be a daddy when you need him. Anything you need. Anything yes, that you need, he will. God is right there. You just have to come to him. That's it. He already there. He already see. He already He know. already see. He already know. He says all I want my people to do is come. That's it. And I will feel them. That's what he said. I will feel them. And that's the word I stand on today. I have a lot of faith and I have a belief in Christ because you can't put your faith and belief in people. That's it. They'll let you down all the time, but Christ, he's going to always be there for you. That's it. So for people that want to commit suicide or feel like they bound up in a wheelchair or I just can't make it because, Lord, I ain't got these limbs to move, remember, God always enhances something else. That's it. He's going to have something else for you 
for you to live, for yes. you to give his glory, because it's all for God's glory. Yes. That's why, you know, I, I had a problem when people say, I don't like calling you handicapped. I said, but I am handicapped. I'm missing a limb. I have no problem with it. You know why? Because God, to me, is standing on this side. Yes. I have a leg with Jesus. Amen. So I just encourage you, if you want things to change, give your heart over to God. Just give your heart over to God. Yes. In anything that you do, praise the Lord. Put God first. Amen. And watch the difference in your life. You want joy? Give Hey, ask God. God, I need joy in my life. That's it. You want peace? Ask God. God, I Come need on. peace. I don't understand the situation that I went through, but I need this peace right now. And he'll come and give you that peace. Yes. Because I went through that. I, I told the Lord, now this man don't hurt me. I went back and visited the nursing home that I was working for, which was St. John. And I said, God, this man don't hurt me. Now they talking about he don't got a cure and went home. And here I am left like this. But God told me love on him anyway. Amen. That's it. Because why? You are love. That's it. Love on yourself. Yes. I still get up. I dress myself. I make myself look pretty. Because some of us don't do that. Yes. And if they feel like we don't lost a limb or something, the world is just it's over. over. Yeah. It's just over me. I ain't going nowhere. I just look out the window. No. Get up and live. Live for Christ. That's it. Get up and live. You will be a testimony to somebody. You don't know why you out there rolling. You'll probably be saving somebody's life. That's right. That's worse off than you. Amen. And so get up truth. and live. Enjoy yourself. Things are not over for you. God said it's not over. That's it. And that's the truth. And he got the last word. But he said it's not over. You just begin it. That's it. It's just, just beginning. beginning. Always. He said oh, he make yeah. all things new. And like I said, on that note, you know, the Bible says if you confess with your heart, <laughs> confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died on the cross and that he rose again, yes, technically Lord. you are saved. But I always tell you, go find a good Bible preaching church that you can stand on the word of God, that you can build your faith, that you can assemble yourself among the saints. Because yes, that's Lord. what it's about, encouraging each other one to another yes. and that's what the place we have to get to that we have to encourage it so what alexis is trying to say on today is you have to keep on living yes. you know god give us joy god give us peace god mm-hmm. keep us in every area of, area of our yes. lives that we choose to be kept in so yes. we have to get to that place where we call on him that we call on the creator and because he created us he know yes. more about us than we know about ourselves you know uh he the words say he won't put no more on us than we can bear but i'm quite sure if we all look back over our life we all had that time I was like, look, Father, I can't bear nothing else. It's just, I, I, I understand exactly. your word and it's true and all that. But, you know, Father, I can't mm-hmm. take anything else. And he show us, oh, yeah, you can. Yes, you and can. he just take a little, you just get a little bit more. So, like I said, we're just going to close out with prayer on today. Yes, As always, yes. we want to say, you know, thank you for coming out and joining thank us. Because I'm gonna, we're just going to pray straight out on today. Um, but we want to say thank you for joining us. And we hope that Alexa's testimony encouraged not only yes. people that's disabled, but even well, those even that, that's that's that got everything that's still, going through you know, whatever you're, you're going, going through. through. Come on now. That's yeah, it right there. Whatever you're going whatever through. Whatever they're going through. We just wanted you to be encouraged on today, on today. And let you know that God loves you. And, you know, yes, we're just going to take about oh, two Lord. minutes out. You know, you want to pray? Because I know you got <laughs> prayer life. So we're going to take about two minutes. We're going to close out. Mm-hmm. But I want you to go out in prayer. You know, so just yes. take these two minutes Thank and pray. And we'll lose that last Thank minute to you, close. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. We come to you, O oh, Father, giving you thanks on today, O oh, Lord. Asking you for those that need you, O oh, God, that yes. you give them a mind to want to be saved, O oh, yes, Lord, Father. for them to open up their heart to yes, receive oh, you, open up their ears to yes, receive Father. your word, O oh, Lord. We ask you we ask you for our forgiveness, yes, whether it's consciously oh, or yeah, unconsciously, yeah. Lord, because sometimes we don't know what we do. Yes. That might be offending to you, God, but we ask you right now in the name of Jesus to yes, forgive Father. us, O oh, Lord. Yes. We ask you, Lord, just to lift up the ones yes, that's feeling oh, down, O oh, God. Put your arms around them, O oh, yes, Lord. Father. Let them know that there is love for you, yes. that I have love for you. Yes. There's no other love greater than the Lord's love. Yes. So, God, we just 
just ask you to wrap your arms around yes, them right now in the Father, name of Jesus, name of oh Jesus. Lord. Lord, we just ask yes. you to reach out yes. to the ones that want to be saved yes. and have a mindset to be saved, God. Yes. But something is hindering them. We ask you to hit, uh, break that hindrance right yes, now in the, name Father, of Jesus, in the name of Jesus so they can come to you fully uh, with no blame, no excuse, oh Lord. Yes, but God, we ask you on this day, this day Lord. on this day, day if there's anyone to want to receive Christ, yes, Father, for them to open up their mouth, yes, and just confess, yes, Father, that, that they want you, oh Lord, yes, that they need you, oh God, yes, that's the fulfillment, yes, Lord that God. they're looking for, yes, it's you, Jesus, yes, Father, it's you, Jesus, yes, Lord. So, God, we ask you on this day, yes, Father, oh Lord, just save, oh God. Say, oh Lord. Jesus' name, Lord God. Because this world needs you, oh Lord. Yes, Father. We need you more than ever, oh Lord. Yes. And we asking you, God, just say. Yes. Save us, oh Lord. Yes, Father. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. amen. And as always, we just want to say thank you for joining us on yes. today. Uh, we hope that your uh, weekend is blessed. We hope God do something great, something miraculous for you as he always and only a God like him can. We hope that someone on today received Jesus Christ as their yes, Lord and Lord. Savior. And we thank you for just listening to the Alexis testimony. Yes. And we hope that we were able to encourage someone to, on today because that's all it's about at the end of the day. So as always, we yes. want to say once again, thank you for joining us and have a blessed weekend in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And thank you, Alexis. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Well, as we close, we say thank you for joining us, and we hope you join us next week on the In His Image broadcast. May your week be blessed.